Ladies and gentlemen around the globe, a very warm welcome to this 13th award ceremony for the Smarter E, the ES and the Inner Solar Awards. My name is Kilian Reichert and we are broadcasting live from a studio in Leonberg nearby Stuttgart. It, it's quite warm and um, as you can imagine, this situation, I guess, as for all of us, is quite new for us. It's sort of an experience and I really cross the fingers that everything will work out fine today. Just to show you around, to give you a short studio tour, I would like to switch to this dome camera up there and then you can see our team here. Big applause for our team. Hey! And um, I would like to mention them now. Thank you very much, Fabi, Alex, Jonas, Martin, Björn, Manu, Jörg and Jörg, Mark, and uh, thank you also to Christine Bechtold from Solar Promotion. She will be our helping hand here today. We weren't here today if uh, the organizers and partners would not have said, we stick to this event no matter what. So thank you very much to the partners, to the German Solar Association, BSW, and thank you also to Eurobat, the Association of European Manufacturers of Automotive Industrial and Energy Storage Batteries. And a very, very special thank you to our organizers, to FWTM, that's uh, Freiburg's management and marketing organization, and of course to Solar Promotion. And I'm really happy that the CEO of Solar Promotion is with me today. A very warm welcome to Markus Elsesser. Applause! <laughs> ah, Markus, good to have you with us today. Um, as I said before, it's a strange, it's a different and difficult year. Um, the Smarter e Europe has been postponed to next year, but you decided to stick to this event with um, FWTM. Why did you do so? Yeah, despite the cancellation of the Smarter e Europe, we decided to recognize pioneering products, solutions and outstanding projects with these three important innovation awards. Uh, our exhibitors, many companies have worked already very hard to present their innovations at the event we finally had to cancel. And uh, the, the awards are a unique opportunity to present innovations to global experts uh, and the market as a whole. And therefore we uh, decided uh, to um, yeah, keep this contest, this award contest running and to finally have this award, virtual award ceremony here today. All right, thank you already for that. And now let's put a focus on the industry as a whole. Doesn't this crisis show that a green, renewable, decentralized energy supply is needed more than ever? No, definitely. And we have seen a very strong growth um, in the markets uh, for renewable energies in, in the last years. And especially um, 2019, we have um, not only seen a strong growth in the renewables, but also uh, at, energy, at the energy storage and the electric transportation sector. And uh, if you look at, at the solar, solar is now in most of the countries uh, globally um, the uh, um, yeah, uh, power generation um, technology with the lowest cost. And this will definitely transform the energy markets uh, fundamentally in, in the years to come. And uh, energy storage, uh, if you look in the current situation with gigafactories around the globe being built, these markets are set to explode and with the fast expansion of electric transportation. Uh, so I'm very confident um, that these markets will uh, speed up and uh, we also we have to um, um, speed up uh, if we take the Paris Agreement and the climate targets uh, serious. Yes, and we do and I can promise you we have a whole lot of innovative spirit to show you today. We had uh, 83 participants coming from 19 different nations and um, they applied for 12 awards. They are all equal by the way, and um, I would say, Markets, let's start, right? Let's start with the Smarter E Award 2020. Yes, we have uh, two different categories here, which is uh, smart renewable energy and outstanding projects. And of course, somebody had to decide who will be finalist or um, at the end also a winner. And therefore, we are very thankful that we found a top jury. And here they are. And I would say big applause for our top jury, smart renewable energy. 
And also, thank you very much to the jury for outstanding projects. And now, let's start with the category Smart Renewable Energy. As I said before, that's the first category of the day and we have three equal winners here. And um, here are the finalists. Yes, and that's, these are the logos, and I hope to be connected to all of them right now. Hello, everybody. Are you there? Wave your hands. Hello. Namaste. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Who, who had lunch already? Hands up. All right. Who's ready to go home? Nobody. That's good. Who is confident uh, to win this award today? Just you? Okay. All of them. All right. Thank you very much for joining us today. I know we gave you a hard time because it's technically quite a challenge for you, but also for us. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for winner number one in the category Smart Renewable Energy. And the winner is... Congratulations to the Munich City Utilities with their Sonnenbaustein. Our solar building blocks. And just to show you what this great innovative technology is all about, here are some facts. Munich City Utilities, Stadtwerke München, is an energy and infrastructure services provider in Bavaria's capital city. Their photovoltaic project, M Solar Sonnenbausteine, is a business model for urban energy transition that provides an option for participating in solar energy to all citizens, as the roofs used for installation of solar panels are not restricted to private residences. Sonnenbausteine, or Solar building blocks are installed on roofs throughout the city when citizens invest as little as 500 euro. The crowdfunded project based on a self-service online platform returns energy and interest to the contributing citizens. The jury commended this exemplary bottom-up solution that is enlarging the community that participates in local renewable energy. This decentralized lighthouse project demonstrates that everyone can contribute to adding green electricity to the local energy mix and that climate protection in urban areas can be achieved collectively. Yes, and I'm connected now with uh, Manuel Welte. He's in Munich. Manuel, you're the originator and project owner M Solar Sonnenbausteine. Is it as hot in Munich as it is over here in Stuttgart? I'm at the workshop called Staffelstein, but it's also hot there. It's also so hot. That's well, that's why a little bit, yeah. Well, actually, today we would have been in Munich, of course, at the Smarter e Europe, and now you're there. Um, but it's just virtually, but that's quite a big success for you anyway, right? Yeah, it is. I'm pretty honored and thrilled to receive this award and get sort of confirmation of the work, and yeah, I'm so happy. 
Okay, and we were um, talking about crowdfunding with an invest of just 500 euros. That could be a real game changer in terms of affordability of green energy. Was that also one of your goals? It was one of the goals, but my biggest goal is um, to create an easy business model to um, get unused space in urban areas and to have an easy solution for everyone. And I guess that worked out because your shares for the first project have been sold out within 56 hours. I mean, that's incredible, right? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we didn't do a lot of marketing and sort of got overrun by the first project. And yeah, we are on our next two projects, will be, which will be published soon, probably in August. All right, now you have the award and you can use it for your marketing activities. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again. Manuel, this is your award. Thank you. Enjoy and party Thank today you. also in Bad Staffelstein. <laughs> All right. We have uh, two more awards to go in the category Smart Renewable Energy. And here comes winner number two. Congratulations! Yes, and here is a short clip about this award-winning technology. Fronius International is a global company based in Austria that develops technologies for converting and controlling electrical energy that solve contemporary technical challenges. The Fronius Soul Hub is a decentralized energy hub that allows production, storage, and utilization of green hydrogen directly where it is needed for transportation or seasonal energy storage. By utilizing hydrogen, it is possible to couple the sector's power, mobility, and heat, and store large amounts of energy over a long period of time. Soul Hub focuses on medium-sized customers who want to produce their own fuel with support of local available renewable energy resources. The jury was impressed by the pioneering complete turnkey ready system that is modular and scalable. Soul Hub brings solar energy to a fueling station and illustrates the growing importance of chemical energy carriers, in particular for heavy duty and long range transport applications, as well as for industry use. All right, and virtually with me now is Martin Hacke. Martin, give me five. <laughs> yeah, check. Hi, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. It's all about you today. Um, you're the head of business unit Solar Energy. It's your seventh application, and now you won. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, just great. Uh, it's a real honor uh, to be nominated and to win the prize. It means a lot for us, for our employees, especially for the team who is working now since more than 10 years on Hydrogen and we are starting now to commercialize this product, so it feels really, really good. Well, uh, you mentioned that green hydrogen is one of the hot topics when we are talking about uh, renewables. Uh, how big, how huge is this potential and what kind of development chances do you see there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the potential is uh, enormous. Uh, a major task we as an industry have is to understand how we can bring solar energy into mobility, heat, into industry. Uh, and hydrogen is going to play uh, a major role in this energy transition. So the potential is enormous. So it's on one side, uh, let's say, bringing energy into these other sectors, but it's also going to enable us to bring uh, a lot of solar energy from the summer into the winter in, uh, in the future. All right. Martin, tell me, I mean, this, winning this award is a big thing. How are you going to use this in terms of marketing and pushing your ideas even further? Yeah, of course, as it's a, a new product, uh, a new topic, hydrogen is not uh, so well known from the consumers. Uh, it always helps if you get recognized by prices or awards like that. So definitely that's going to help us to give a 
uh, to, to help us to promote this product. All right, Martin, thank you very much. Enjoy your time, stay tuned, please, and um, have a nice party later on. Thank you very much. You get an applause Thanks. too, of course. <laughs> All right, and now let's continue with winner number three category, Smart Renewable Energy. I say congratulations and a laugh to Next Kraftwerke in Kölle am Ring. Yes, Next Kraftwerke from Colonia and here is a short clip about this award-winning technology. Based in Cologne, Germany, Next Kraftwerke is a virtual power plant operator and power trader connecting power producing assets from renewable sources with commercial and industrial power consumers and power storage systems. They have developed the software as a service solution, Nemox, to support third parties in establishing their own virtual power plants. Nemox can network thousands of decentralized units to optimize their operation by processing data in real time, which can improve generation forecasting with Nemox, it is possible to monitor, forecast, and dispatch a distributed pool of assets from a single control center. This improves the performance of the pool of assets and the overall performance of the system. The jury applauds this concept that makes renewables more economical, promotes their expansion, and proves that renewables can meet the needs and take on an increasing share of the future energy market including shouldering system responsibility. Yes, and now I hope that Jochen Schwill can see and hear me. Jochen, are you there? Hey. Hi, Kilian, I can hear you. All right, Jochen, you're the CEO and founder of Next Kraftwerke. Congratulations, first of all. I, I think if I remember it right, you already won an award in the Outstanding Projects category a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, that's true. We uh, once uh, won the InterSolar Award, which was a great honor already. And right now, again, we are very happy for, for the Nimox um, tool. And uh, that's, that's very great. Well, let's talk about your SAAS uh, solution. Um, you share the know-how you have gathered as a virtual power plant operator uh, with others. Why, why is that? Yeah, that's true, Kilian. So what we want to do is provide an operating system for renewable energies to the whole world with the experience which we gathered being an operator of a virtual power plant in Germany and Europe. Okay, that's great. Now, as you just mentioned, this is your second award. Um, as I asked before already, um, do you think it can give you another big push in terms of marketing or, uh, well, continued success? Yes, I'm pretty sure that will help us. So right now we are going to, to the world and try to bring the concept of a virtual power plant to the whole world to integrate more renewables and get rid of the coal. I can show you something <laughs> which I prepared just in case if I win the, the award, and which is our T-shirt uh, which we wear. Can you read that, Kilian? Mach deine Kohle ohne and Kohle. And translate it for the audience. Yeah, make money without coal. I mean, it doesn't work as good uh, in English as it does in German, but that's very nice. Thank right. you. Thank you for this live <laughs> striptease, and I uh, wish you all the best. Drink a couple of Kölsch for me too tonight. Take care. Thank you very much. I will do. Thank Jochen. you very much. And also a big applause, of course, also for this great T-shirt. And um, here you can see the winners for, of the Smarter E Award 2020 in the category Smart Renewable Energy once again. Ah, the audience was sleeping, no worries. All right. And that's it. The first category of today is history. And now we are moving on to the smart, no, to the outstanding project and uh, also three equal winners and this is our next award. Smarter E Award Outstanding Projects 2020 and uh, here are the finalists.
And again, I hope to be connected to all of them now. All right, there you are. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess all of you can hear me. Wave your hands if you don't. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, shall we start a, a wave for something? You think that's going to work? Okay, let's give it a try, okay? You ready? Oh, hey. Yeah, come on, come on. There you go. Perfect. Okay, who's confident in winning? Yes. Rodinas, everybody is. But bad news, we only have three awards to hand over today. They are all equal. And I would say let's start with winner number one. And this first award in the category Outstanding Projects goes to Ukraine. Congratulations to Solar Chernobyl LLC. Yes. I hear somebody's having fun over there in the Ukraine. All right, and here are some more information about this award-winning technology. Solar Chernobyl 1 megawatt power plant is a project of the Ukrainian-German consortium Rodina Enerpark. Rodina specializes in renewable energy products in Eastern Europe and the former USSR and the Middle East. Enerpark designs, constructs, and operates solar power plants in Europe, Asia, and the USA. The Solar Chernobyl plant is on the contaminated site of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant 100 meters from the reactor that exploded in 1986. As the only privately invested project in the Chernobyl zone since then, this is a unique example of the redevelopment of radioactively polluted land into a positive example of the safety and capability of solar power and demonstrates solar energy's benefits for a post-nuclear energy world. To reduce radioactive leakage from the soil, the system was installed with ballasts set on the surface and designed with low maintenance in mind. The jury recognizes the symbolic and practical importance of installing a utility PV power plant at the site of one of the most dangerous nuclear accidents in history, paving the way for energy independence for Ukraine. Yes, and a very warm welcome to Evgeny Baryagin. This is your award, Evgeny. <laughs> Thank you so much. I see that you are really happy. You're the CEO of uh, Solar Chernobyl and Rodina. As just mentioned, this award and your project is quite a symbol, right? I mean, a solar power plant nearby where the disaster happened, that's a symbol, right? Yes, and this is the only private investment in Chernobyl zone for the last 33 years, 34 already. And we're going to make more there. Actually, our target is to expand this up to 100 megawatts. And uh, we still believe we, we can do it. And despite some you know, changes in the policy in Ukraine right now, the Gardas Kedian Tariff, I believe we will reach success. But this is how we would like to show to the world how we love our home country, how we can make a transparent business, engaging European and American partners uh, to our side, and how Ukrainian engineering team can do really good and significant move forward to support the whole solar industry in the world. So thanks. It's a great honor for us, for our team. And sorry, but welcome to Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. But tell me, I mean, there are, let's say, more easy places in the Ukraine where you could have gone. Why did you choose especially this place? Uh, we always go for the places which are not followed by anyone else. And um, this is our way of corporate social responsibility. It's very easy to make a solar plant anywhere in the world. But please try to attract by your doing what you're doing if you do something in the most, I would say, aggressive place in the world. And unfortunately, there are so many places which have been suffered from human activity. And so Chernobyl is just one of the examples. And we would like to show to our colleagues and our competitors, guys, there are so many wastelands. There are so many problematic places in the world which could be perfectly utilized for solar. Oh. We are happy to share our experiences with everybody. Thank uh, you. 
All right, thank you very much, Evgeny, for sharing this with us. With us. This is your award. I wish you a very nice party right, tonight. Enjoy it, take care, and all the best. Bye bye. Sure, thank you. Big applause once again. Yes. <laughs> The audience is also, also thrilled. All right, let's move on to winner number two of uh, the Smarter E Award category, Outstanding Project. And this award will move a couple of hundred kilometers south from here to Fiesen. Congratulations. And uh, we have, of course, also connected some information about this award-winning idea. Headquartered in Memmingen, Germany, Faisen specializes in off-grid photovoltaic technology. As part of the revived water innovation and development project, Faisen developed the first small-scale solar-powered electrodialysis desalination system on the market for purification of brackish water with a group of interdisciplinary partners, ranging from architects to universities and startups. The system provides up to 2,000 liters of clean drinking water a day for isolated villagers and nomads in Somaliland. Electrodialysis uses a membrane technology in which an electric current pulls salt ions through an ion exchange membrane thereby significantly reducing the salt content and is well suited for solar-powered drinking water supply in remote areas. The jury admired the cost-effectiveness and low-maintenance aspects of this solution, along with its high impact and demonstrated repeatability in rural Africa and India, where there is a lack of pure drinking water. Yes, and with me now is Florian Martin, project manager. And Florian, you've been partying before. We couldn't see it. Do that again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, how important is your work you. in uh, countries in Africa or uh, in India, for example? Yeah, I mean, all of us, we know that there's this big issue with uh, drinking water problems. And the thing is, I'm sure the Climate change, rising seawater levels, so we have increasing problems with salinated groundwater. So, yeah, one big issue about when we've been how to, to, yeah, to challenge this issue is the water desalination, especially for people in rural areas where big desalination systems are not suitable. So this is where our system perfectly fits in, and we combine the, the yeah, the advantages of optic photovoltaics and combine them with the most efficient desalination technology, which is electrodialysis. Okay, maybe we can uh, put a short focus on uh, your partners. You have various partners involved in such a project. Um, how does this cooperation work and how do the partners find each other? Right, this is an EU funded project. So we were in total 10 partners all across Europe working together to, yeah, to develop this new technology. And we started in 2016, so it was five, four years of hard work. And yeah, it was actually we, a nice work together. So we had universities with know-how for uh, like simulation systems of, of membranes. And yeah, so each company, each university could contribute yeah, for to, yeah, to gain the success to develop this new technology. All right, well, that about today. What about tomorrow? What's next? What are your plans? Yeah, so we already installed seven pilot systems of these new technologies, and they proved yeah, to, to run really good, so we have nice results. So the next step is to, to bring them to the market to establish um, series production of the system to, yeah, to, to go for the market in the whole world. That sounds very good. Thank you very much once again to Florian Martini, and this is your applause once again. Take care. Thank you. All right, and we have uh, one more to go in this category, outstanding project, projects, and the winner is? The 
Sun Power Corporation. Congratulations! <laughs> All right, and here are some facts about this outstanding project. Sun Power Corporation designs and manufactures photovoltaic cells and solar panels. They are part of the Powerhouse Team Collaborative that joined forces to solve climate problems. Their most recent building is the world's northernmost energy positive structure, Powerhouse Radturkaya in Norway, built only three degrees south of the Arctic Circle. SunPower contributed its Maxion solar technology, which generates up to 35% more energy over 25 years compared with conventional panels and has strong wind load resistance. The multi-story building produces power for its own use and contributes excess power to the local microgrid. <coughs> By bridging the gap between architecture and the solar industry, this solution in which function dictated form and that proves the viability of solar power so far north is rewarded by the jury for its lighthouse character, setting an example for responsible construction for the future with an energy positive 60 year lifespan from cradle to grave. Yes, and now we should be with Michael Tonsing. Michael, are you there? I'm here, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How are you doing? Are you at home still? I'm at home uh, and trying not to wake up my daughter. All right, so where are you exactly? I don't want the address, but on which continent? In the United States. All right, California. All right, this is your award. Congratulations once again. Um, I think you made uh, two submissions, right, for this award uh, uh, category, Outstanding Projects, and now you won. I mean, that's great. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're thrilled, and we're, we're thrilled to be able to bring more attention to the team that developed this project. Yes, uh, but tell me, a plus energy building powered with solar energy close to the Arctic Circle, that's, first of all, quite a challenge. And tell me, how did this come up? I mean, that's, yeah, interesting. Well, it was a wonderful project, and it was a, a group effort. Um, it, it was uh, 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 led by um, Solcella Specialist, in, um, our, our partner in Norway, and uh, we're quite grateful for them for uh, the work that they did on this. Okay, and what could you take away from this very special location for other projects, maybe? Well, what we're excited about with this project is just a, a view of the future, a view of um, the building of the future, a sustainable zero carbon world where uh, buildings can produce more energy than they consume and a, a really, truly circular approach. So a uh, big thank you to the large collaboration that took place on, on this project, uh, Entra, Skanska, Snowetta, R8 Properties, and of course, uh, Solo Specialist, and it was a, a great team project. All right, thank you very much, Mike. We'll send this award to you. And uh, I guess there are uh, worse ways to start a day, right? <laughs> there are, and thank you so much. Take care, all the best, and this is your applause once again. And that has been the third award of um, the Smarter E Award in the category Outstanding Projects. And here are the winners once again. All right, and uh, we have no time to waste because uh, the next award is waiting and this is the ES Award for Innovative Storage Solutions. Yes, and of course, also here somebody had to decide who will be a finalist, which is already quite a victory, and who will be a winner. And that's, as you already know, our top jury. Thank you very much. And these ladies and gentlemen decided who would be the finalists, and here they are.
And again, I hope to be connected to all of them now. Are you there, finalists of the ES Award 2020? How are you doing? Hello? There you are. Okay, who's ready to win this award? Thumbs up. It's not first come, first serve, okay? But I'll do my best. And um, yeah, let's continue. Uh, thank you also for being with us today. Thank you. I know that for some of them, it's early, for some of you, it's early. For some of you, it's late. And um, I know that it was quite a challenge to get connected. Thank you very much for that. And let's start with winner number two of the EES Award 2020. This is, of course, winner number one and not number two, and that goes to Fenecon. Congratulations! And again, we have collected some information about this award-winning storage technology. FileMire New Energy Consulting, Fenecon was founded in 2011 and is a provider of electricity storage systems of all sizes. Finicon Industrial is a plug-and-play storage system in a container with an open EMS software platform that enables the use of a wide variety of industrial and grid applications while maintaining manufacturer independence. This is a zero and second life concept optimized for the mobile BEV batteries. The flexible design makes implementation of new or Second Life EV batteries easier. The jury was impressed with this well-thought-out system approach that creates a platform for intelligently integrating Zero Life or Second Life automotive batteries and which takes advantage of the scale of the automotive industry and addresses end-of-life EV battery challenges. In addition, the jury commended the modern and flexible energy management through the integration of the system with the Open EMS platform. Yes, and with me now is Franz Feilmeier. Congratulations, you're the CEO of, and founder of Fenecon. How are you feeling? This is your award. Oh my God, that's great. Thanks so much. Thank you. I think, um, if I'm right, you've been a finalist twice now, right? And uh, now this year you could take this home. Um, how does that feel? It's, it's perfect. We already enjoyed the nomination that much and told it to everybody. And now we really have this award in hand. So um, thanks a lot for this. Thanks to the jury. Thanks um, yeah, for this uh, nomination and winning the award. We will thank all of that. Well, it's all up to you. So, um, as we heard in the short clip, you work together with uh, BMW and Insert New and Second Life batteries in your storage system. Uh, are there also solutions for, for batteries of other car manufacturers? Uh, yes, actually, it was a project from Renault who made us understand the advantages of uh, zero life batteries. We started with Second Life used batteries, and then they asked us to integrate new spare part batteries in a container and a um, yeah, a uh, spare part warehouse. Then we did the same with EMW batteries, which is our Fenicon Industrial now, um, with really taking the, the differences of uh, EV batteries to advantages in this container. Um, so we are ready to use this concept as well as as well for Second Life and Zero Life, and also new batteries who stay in the uh, All right, perfect. And now I wish you continued success. Use this award, use winning this award, being a finalist and now a winner, because this will give you another push. Thanks a lot, we'll do it, we'll tell it to everybody. All right, take care, and this is once again your applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe it, this is winner number two. And uh, the ES Award 2020 goes to Zedenar Batteries. Congratulations! And again, here are some information about this innovative storage system. ZNR Batteries is a technological subsidiary of the EDF Group which works to address the climate crisis by building a net zero energy future with electricity solutions and services. The Zinium Zinc Air Rechargeable Battery contains zinc air cells made of components 
that are submerged in an aqueous electrolyte called zinolite. This makes the battery rechargeable. Zinium uses ambient air to function. The battery absorbs and releases oxygen while charging and discharging, and the storage system has dedicated proprietary battery management. It also includes a porous anode, mainly made of zinc, and incorporates other components, such as manganese and calcium, and contains no rare earth or precious metals. The jury commends the visionary approach to safe and clean battery technology. While new technologies often encounter challenges as they are commercialized, the jury recognized the well-thought-out strategy to target residential, commercial, and industrial energy storage markets that have lower entry barriers. Yes, and I'm connected to the Director of Marketing and Sales, Xavier Ramon. Ramon, uh, Xavier, excuse me, uh, you look very, very <laughs> happy, right? Yes, uh, hello first, Kalyan, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm happy to hand over all these awards, especially to you today. All right, well, thank you very much for this award. We are very proud, in fact, uh, to, to, have the, to have been selected. Uh, for this award. It's a great, great achievement for us, for all uh, our R&D teams working on this new uh, Zing Air battery. So thank you very much. Well, let's uh, put a strong focus real quick on Zing Air batteries for, um, uh, for example, uh, e-mobility uh, as an alternative um, for uh, lithium ion batteries. When do you think um, this can be the case? Well, you know, uh, uh, Zinger uh, um, accumulator existed a long time ago. What we made new is to have rechargeable Zinger batteries. Uh -huh. We believe very much for the, the, our passion is battery and clean battery. We believe that there is a, a, a huge market for cleaner, safer and recyclable batteries. So we use in our product only uh, available current products on Earth like zinc, manganese, and uh, nickel. And uh, our product will be for sale starting from next year, and we really believe that uh, the future of the transition is uh, going through storage and is going especially through clean storage. And we believe in alternative to existing lithium-ion batteries, you know? And as you can see, the jury believes so too. So congratulations once again. This is your award. Thank you very much and party hard in France tonight. Thank you. Yes, great. Thank you very much, Kilian. Thank you to uh, all of the jury. Yes. All right. We have one more winner to go. Here comes winner number three of the ES Award 2020. to announce that this award goes to Vibasto, congratulations! And here's a short clip. A global systems partner of vehicle manufacturers, Vibasto, focuses on sustainability as a key aspect of future mobility including reducing fuel consumption and the use of alternative drive systems. The Wabasto CV Standard Battery System is an off-the-shelf plug-and-play traction battery solution for commercial vehicles. These applications have specific demands for short-term high power. Designed with total cost of ownership in mind, the system features a flexible two-layer design for easier installation and voltage scaling that enables using the same product in smaller trucks and large buses or trucks. The jury awarded this product for its scalability, wide application in diverse vehicles, and its ability to retrofit existing vehicles with minimal costs, while providing battery systems to vehicle manufacturers. Yes, and now connected uh, Nico Münch and the Masked Singer, or who is there? Hey, congratulations! <laughs> the, the team in the background is uh, partying as well. So, uh, yes, as you can see, we're very excited to have won this one. Thank you very much. 
Yes, Nico, you're the director of business development and sales of Webasto Battery Systems. As we all know, I mean, 2020 is a difficult and tough year. Uh, I guess this success helps a lot, right, in terms of motivation and uh, also innovative spirit. Yeah, absolutely, especially as we have brought uh, this product to market uh, just now, so it's absolutely new. And basically, it's, it's great to see that uh, an idea um, that was created at the end of 2017 with a lot of dedication has actually become an award-winning product. So that's really cool. All right. What happened to the team now? Did they go partying already? And no, I ah, think they, they, have to, okay. they have to be quiet while I talk. <laughs> All right, that's the way it should be. You're right. Um, well, we're talking about a huge market. Where will we see commercial vehicles with uh, electric drives in the nearer future? So, um, obviously, geographically, it's going to be a global phenomenon, but um, also, especially last mile delivery, anything that's within uh, city borders will be the first thing that's electrified. It has started uh, with buses, uh, which you can see, especially when you look in China, 99% um, of the buses are already being electrified that are being produced now for inner city use. Um, but the next thing is going to be all the um, delivery vehicles um, and uh, also off-road vehicles like construction vehicles and so on. Everything that's going to have inner city use. All right. So what are your next steps now besides uh, partying and gouting? <laughs> uh, so next step is definitely... Um, go out and promote our product, uh, continue to promote our product. Uh, we have so far excellent reviews from our customers. Um, it's a very well received uh, product and now we have to, to make it work. Uh, we, have, uh, we, we really have something with which uh, we can change the speed of electrification there and this is what we want to achieve. All right, congratulations once again. Bring back uh, the team. And then we can start a wave, maybe in, together. Let's try it. Now you can you be very, very loud. <laughs> hey, wave, wave, wave. Oy. Okay, there you <laughs> Yes. All right, that was uh, the third winner of uh, the ES Award 2020. Here are all the winners. Once again, also a big applause. And now let's move on to our Evergreen, to the Inner Solar Award 2020. Same procedure as every time. You can already hear the applause. Here is the jury for the Inner Solar Award 2020. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for supporting us. And, as you already know, after the jury, we see the finalists. And here they are for the Inner Solar Award 2020. And again, let's see who is online. Almost everybody, hey there, how are you doing? Let's just check real quick, who is there uh, in America? All right, Asia? Europe? <laughs> okay, okay, you, you're in America and Europe, all right. Well, we'll, we'll find a solution, no worries, okay. Um, so you're ready for this award, right? Who won't be disappointed if you wouldn't take it home today of you? 
everybody would be very, very sad. You get over it, you can still apply for next year, right? And as you all know, it's already quite a victory to be one of the finalists. But now, let's go for it. Here comes winner number one of the Inner Solar Award 2020. I say congratulations to a very well-known winner here, Ferroamp Electronic AB. Congratulations! And again, here comes a short clip about this award-winning technology. Ferroamp Electronic, founded in 2010, is a Swedish company that offers advanced energy and power optimization solutions for homes, real estate, and industry. Ferroamp's generic solar string optimizer can be described as a PV string inverter for DC grids with the functionality of a conventional AC string inverter. The solar string optimizer enables solar panels to be connected directly to off-grid battery system, to the DC side of storage inverters, and to the DC link in electric vehicle charging stations. A silicon carbide boost converter yields a peak efficiency of 99.5%. The jury was convinced by the compatibility with a wide range of configurations, voltage levels, and control methods for the DC links that enable PV integration into existing systems. This can reduce the cost and complexity of adding solar power to new energy systems, increase the number of solar power installations, and facilitate the energy transition towards renewable sources. Yes, and now I say a very warm welcome to Björn Janström, you're the CTO. Congratulations, this is your award. Thank you very much. This is, uh, this is fantastic. Uh, really, really happy today. <laughs> All right, I mean, you already won a couple of awards, but if I remember it right, this is your first Inner Solar Award, right? That's true, that's true. I mean, now we have all three of them. We have EES, we have Smarter E, and this is InterSolar. So we will stop innovating now. No, 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 don't do that and don't stop applying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's a good point. Um, what's next? What are you working on? Uh, what are technologies or innovations that we can look forward to? I mean, the, the things that we are seeing now is that more and more of the renewable energy is, is powered by DC. So one of the reasons why we developed a new solar string optimizer is that we see more and more requests from customers that want to utilize energy directly on the DC side. This could be for um, EV charging applications where you have multiple chargers. It could be for direct powering the DC rail of a subway net. Uh, so there is a lot of applications where, where this makes sense. So we will definitely continue to develop products and, and applications based on, on our DC grid technology. All right, and you know that there's the Smarter E Award in two categories. So if you had all, you would have four of those awards. So enough reason to apply again next year, right? We will do that, we will do that. All right, <laughs> we'll thank you very much. We'll see what we can come up with. Perfect, thank you very much. Congratulations once again, Björn, this is your award. Thank you. Two more to go. Here comes winner number two of the Inner Solar Award 2020. Congratulations to REC. And again, we have prepared some more information about this award-winning technology. Founded in Norway in 1996, REC Solar is a manufacturer of solar cells and modules and other clean energy products and provides turnkey engineering, procurement and construction. The REC Alpha Series is a 60-cell solar panel that combines a half-cut heterojunction cell structure with the latest cell interconnection technology. This combination delivers up to 380 watt peak, 
with a power density of 217 watts per square meter and at 21.7%, an outstanding module efficiency level. REC's Alpha Series bonds thin round wires directly to the cell surface, reducing the number of solder points in a panel by 95% and overall lead content by 81%. The jury awards REC's game-changing technology with no light-induced degradation, high efficiency, high power density, one of the lowest temperature coefficients in the market, and their goal to become fully lead-free in 2020. Then I'm uh, really happy to see and hopefully also to hear Cemil Zeba, Vice President, Global Marketing and Product Management. How are you doing there? Well, very, very well. Even better in the last minute uh, than I was doing earlier. A bit nervous, but uh, really happy for the team over here. Really happy for our customers. And this is the second time we're winning this. So we continue the hard work of serving our customers. Perfect. Congratulations once again. This is your award. I hope you can see it. And uh, we will, of course, send it to you. Um, but since the beginning of the Inner Solar Award, 13 years ago, in 2008, the performance and efficiency of solar modules um, have increased enormously. How do you always find new optimization potential here? I mean, that's quite a challenge, right? Absolutely, it's a quite challenge. The whole industry is after more power and more what peaks. Obviously, what we have here with heterojunction and advanced connection technology helps that. And there is more to come. There is more to come over the years as this platform can evolve and is compatible with the future technologies of Tandem and Perovskite. And we'll be continuing on that for many more years to come. All right. That's perfect. So I hope to see you again next year, at least as a finalist but maybe again as a winner. Thank you very much and congratulations, I think, to Munich, you. right? You're in Munich right now. Absolutely, we're in Munich where we would have all hope to be, but uh, the circumstances decided otherwise. Hopefully next year we're all together again. That's exactly right. Take care, servus und bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more award to go. Here comes winner number three of the Inner Solar Award 2020. And I guess somebody is going to freak out now. We're going to say congratulations once again to Fronios. <laughs> I hear him laugh already. Perfect. And again, here's a short clip about this award-winning technology. Fronius International is an Austrian manufacturer active in welding technology, photovoltaics, and battery charging technology. Their Simo Gen 24 Plus is a three-phase hybrid inverter that enables AC and DC coupled hybrid systems. Multi-flow technology ensures that loads can be supplied with energy while the battery charges simultaneously during power outages. This results in a longer lasting backup power supply with 10 kilowatt output power for a higher degree of self-supply. It also provides good coverage of energy needs in normal times with a more flexible utilization of the battery. The jury applauds the engineering that has created a new category of inverter for larger storage systems with high AC output power, an innovative active cooling system, top efficiency for a PV and battery combination, plus two load profiles for smaller and larger houses. The jury also gave high marks for a design that facilitates maintenance, recycling, and parts replacement. Yes. And here it is, the second award of the day for Fronios. Martin, I'm really happy that you didn't leave already and go to a Heurigen wine garden or something. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, it's really, really unbelievable. I'm so proud about my team. Uh, to, uh, thanks for that. It's really amazing. I'm happy to see that. Yes, now you have two, but of course, it's a different award and a different um, technology, of course. How important is this uh, innovative spirit for you? Yeah, uh, innovation always has been very important. And as we 
uh, in our company we have a vision of 24 hours of sun and we really work very hard on innovating the industry in uh, storing energy and in bringing energy into all energy sectors and the world first award was for hydrogen the second award is for short time storage of energy so that's really great uh, uh, thanks for that you're more than welcome, of course, but uh, maybe we can put a focus on the inverters now. Um, what kind of uh, innovations do you see here? How are developments or future developments going to look like? Mm. Yeah, of course, everything uh, in inverter technology goes in direction of first on more efficiency. I think what we did very well on this product and secondly on how the product integrates into the house, into the building and into the energy flows uh, which need to be managed. And uh, there is still a lot of space of innovation and this product, uh, this product the Gen24 Plus is one of the first products we are bringing out of this very intelligent Pack up powered and high efficient products. All right, thank you. We are looking forward to these innovations, and now it's time for you again to party hard. This is your applause. Drink a Greenfeld Lina with me, or for me too. And next time we do it personally in Munich. Thank you very much. Congratulations for the two times award winner, Fronios. And here are all the winners of the Inner Solar Award 2020. Congratulations once again, and of course, a big applause. Well, and now I would like to welcome Marcus Elsesser uh, once again. Marcus, this is your applause also. <laughs> Sounds a little bit different. Yeah, your applause yeah, is different. Yeah, it's even louder. Um, tell me, this was uh, our first virtual award ceremony. That's We've right. seen impressive winners. How did you like it? It was an amazing event and congratulations uh, to all the finalists and of course uh, the winners. Um, with your innovations you are creators of the new energy world. Thank you very much uh, for doing this and um, of course also thank you to the team uh, for organizing this uh, virtual award ceremony. And um, Marcus, we mentioned it before, we are living in a quite different and difficult situation. Um, that brings us all to a point where we have to well, check out new solutions, new ideas. How did you react uh, as solar promotion? Yeah, for us, it's uh, very important to be in a continuous exchange with our exhibitors, visitors, um, industry association, and all the partners. And uh, therefore, we introduced uh, several digital formats, new formats, uh, like this virtual award ceremony, but also podcasts, webinars, uh, online conferences, and uh, innovation days where companies uh, can uh, present their innovations online. And you can check this out by going to the website, uh, smarter.com. Um, yeah, thank you very much for this uh, event. And uh, thank you to all the companies um, taking part in this, in this award uh, contest. That uh, brings me to the point that you should apply for next year's award, of course. Just check out our website. And now I would say it's time again for a big applause for all the winners and the entire team. Thank you to all the participants, the juries, the finalists, and of course, as I said, the winners. And most important, stay healthy. Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.